We are now making the retrofit for the full gauge center unit from the Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, to make the full gauge work properly in the Honda S2000 cluster. We are going to see there uh, it's pretty empty. When it's empty, it must have a, uh, something like a 12 ohms. It must have 12, 12 ohms of resistance. But now we are going to increase the resistance. We can just check there. I'm just moving up the full level until it reaches the full bar that is in the top. So we can see there it's just moving up until it just gets the full stage. But if we decrease if we decrease the resistance when the full level must go down into an empty state to just come down. This is the Honda S2000 uh, AP2 cluster that works on canvas, but I'm retrofitting out the signals in order to make it work properly on my Mitsubishi Eclipse. As you can see here, uh, the full level is all down. It means that there is no petrol in the full tank. I'm going to show sand that there is no petrol. So if I just put up again, it must escalate again to the top. So that's done. The only issue that this cluster should make it to work properly uh, in the DSM uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse or Eagle Talon second generation is uh, here there is some limiting. So you can just adjust or crook this level in order to be in the range of the ohmic uh, stuff from this uh, S2000 is able to read, so you can just use some uh, some tool to just move it uh, a little bit. The resistance, when it's uh, empty, it must be 101 ohms, and when it's full, it must be something like 10 to 12 ohms when it's full of petrol. So. We got it working. Now we just need to convert the other signals for this cluster. So it means that it's pretty fine. Now let's see again. I just put the full sender unit to the top. As you can see here. To the top. And there, using the top. 